is Frutan, which is on topsy-turvy land. Topsy-turvy land is really a twinkling star, and all the toys that used to belong to naughty children live there. The cleverest toy is Torchy, and he has a rocket and flies down to Earth whenever he wants to. Last week, the king of topsy-turvy land gave him a penny-farthing bicycle, and Torchy was outside his pineapple house cleaning it when Squish, the space boy with a water pistol, came to see him. Hi, Torchy. What are you doing? Cleaning my bike. Isn't it beautiful? My water pistol is much nicer. Well, if your water pistol is nice... Then I'll give it to you if you'll give me your bike. <laughs> oh, no. I'd much rather have my penny farthing. What a mean boy you are. One day I'm going to have a fight with Squish and take his water pistol away from him. I won't be long, Bike. As soon as I've had breakfast, we'll go for a ride. Torchy went into his pineapple house and found Pom Pom the poodle. <laughs> Hello, Torchy. Will you take my curlers out? I can't. I'm in a hurry. You shouldn't put curlers in every night. <laughs> but my hair's straight and I'd look silly without any curls. You wouldn't look silly at all. You'd look different. I don't want to look different. I want to look beautiful. Please take my curlers out. No. Well, twist my tail. You're woofly mean. I can't help that. I want to ride my bicycle and I've no time to waste on a poodle. Pom Pom walked along the road, growling to herself. <laughs> How nasty Torchy is not to take out my curlers. I, I like to look pretty. French poodles always take great care of themselves. We're not as untidy as terriers. We're much better mannered than Pekingese. And of course, poodles are more clever than any other dog in the world. Now I'd better go and see Flopsy. She'll be kind enough to take my curlers out, I'm sure. Flopsy was at home, sewing some curtains on her sewing machine. I'm going to make curtains for all the houses in Fruitown. Pom Pom lives in a lemon house, so I'll make yellow pickle boggles for her. And Torchy lives in a pineapple house, so I'll make green pickle boggles for him. No, no! Don't make any curtains for Torchy. He wouldn't take my curlers out. Oh, how strange. Perhaps he had something else to do. He had nothing to do at all. He just wanted to ride his new bicycle, and I hope he falls off. But Torchy was enjoying his ride, and he cycled along as happy as could be. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful living in Topsy Turvy Land, because the sun is always shining, and when it rains, it rains orange juice. <laughs> oh, oh, dear. I wish it would rain now. I could do with a drink. Of course. I could drink my pail of whitewash, but there's no one here to laugh at me if I did. There must be something here I could drink. Why, surely, that's a lemonade lily over there. Torchy was peddling nearer on his penny farthing, and he saw Pillywig pumping the lily leaf. All I must do is pump the leaf up and down, and the flower cup will fill with lemonade. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Move out of the way, Pillywig. My brakes aren't very good. Oh, oh, what lovely lemonade I'm going to have. Oh, dear, I wish I had a bell. Move out of the way, Pillywig. Oh! oh. Pillywig landed head first in the bucket. And Torchy landed with the bicycle round his neck. What a nasty accident. Are you all right, Pillywig? Oh! <laughs> I'm covered in whitewash, and I can't see a thing. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, but I did call to you to mind out of the way, and you didn't hear me. Why didn't you ring your bell? I haven't got a bell. Haven't got a bell? <sighs> Do you mean to say you haven't got a bell on your bike? No. Really, Torchy, don't you know it's dangerous to ride a bicycle without a bell? I'm not going to let you get on it anymore. You'll have to push it all the way back to Fruitown. But that's much too far away. I don't care. Oh, please, Pillywig, I promised to cycle very slowly. No, no, but to push it. So Torchy pushed the bike all the way home. 
My, how tired he was. There we are, Pillywig. Now I better find a bell. Uh, I wonder where we can buy one. We can't buy one. You see, there aren't any shops on Topsy Turvy Land because everything is free. Oh, I'd forgotten that. Well, 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 well. We'll have to find a bell somewhere. I'll go and ask Squish if he has one. Hello, Squish. I'm looking for a bell to put on my bicycle. Have you got one? No, I haven't. And even if I had, I wouldn't give it to you. Why not? Because you wouldn't let me ride on your bicycle. If you find a bell, I'll let you ride on my bike all day. Huh. Well, I don't want to ride on it now, so you better find somebody else to help you. Stick them up. No, I won't. I've got to find a bell first. Torchy looked everywhere for a bell. He even went to the pepper tree. Dear old pepper tree, do you know where I can find a bell for my bike? <coughs> there must be some way that I can find a bell. I feel so miserable. I must be the saddest toy on Topsy Turvy Land. You're not the saddest toy. I am. Who are you? I'm Wally, the humming top. But I've lost my hum. How awful. How did it happen? The naughty boy who owned me put me into his bath water and my insides got rusty. I can still manage to whirl, but I can't manage to hum. See what I mean? Poor Whirly, I am sorry for you. Have you been on topsy-turvy land long? I haven't seen you before. I arrived on a big wind with a lot of other toys, and we live on the far side of the mountain. Where do you live? In Fruitown, with lots of other toys. Do you think one of them might have a hum to give me? Oh, I don't know. Um, Pillywig the Clown has got one big tooth, Squish has a water pistol, and Flopsy the Red Doll has an empty head. No, I'm sure none of them have a hum to give you. Oh, that's terrible. What can I do? Well, can't you whirl around without a hum? Don't be ridiculous. I'm a humming top, not an ordinary doll. Oh, please don't cry, Whirly. Maybe we could mend your hum for you. There must be some way of getting rid of the rust. I lost my magic beam. Magic beam that is so bright. Will you shine your lovely light? I've two questions instead of one. I want a bicycle bell and a lovely hum. Torchy pressed the switch on his jacket, and there was a noise like a blue bottle on the window pane. The beam in his helmet grew brighter and it danced through the magic wood and stopped by a beautiful tree. There were peanuts growing all over it, and sitting on one of the branches was the tingling bird. How clever my magic beam is! You must eat some peanuts, and then all the oil will come out. What good will that do? It will take away the rust, and you'll be able to hum. <gasps> It sounds wonderful. I'll rush you to the peanut tree. Torchy and Whirly picked a big pile of peanuts. Whirly started to eat them, and as he chewed, the peanut oil dripped down his throat onto the rust inside his tummy. Ah, ah, I feel much better. Oh, I'll see if I can hum now. Look at me, Torchy, aren't I humming beautifully? Yes, you are. Mm, thank you for helping me, Torchy. Mm, you are the cleverest boy I ever met. Mm. Well, now that I've helped you, I must find a bell for my bicycle. I do, but I can't find one. <laughs> Please don't cry. I can help you. How? I'm a bird bell, you know. And if you like, I'll sit on the handle of your bicycle. When you want me to ring, all you have to do is tap me. What a good idea. Come on, Tiggy.
ding-a-ling bird. Let's get my bike at once. Bye-bye, Whirly. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. I've got a penny farthing and it's going very fast. I ride the pedals round and see the trees go whizzing past. When I go ding-ding on the ting-a-ling, all the toys around can tell that the ting-a-ling will soon sing, 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 and sound just like a bell. <laughs> Start to gleam It's the most magic light You 